Hey, welcome to my channel. This is your girl Bree. If this is your first time here, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe because it's gonna be a vibe, baby. If this is not your first time here, hey friend, welcome back. So today, this is gonna be a quick little reaction video, and it's like we're gonna get into it, okay? We about to get into it. Courtney. This girl all in my DMs and sending all these cities about $1,600 you didn't pay for her rent? You know, Courtney. No, you gonna explain this to me. Don't tell me who I know. I need to know where my money at. You know, Courtney, she asked me, can I loan her the money? I loaned her the money. That's what it was. I wasn't about to let her family, you know, get kicked out or none of that. She got two kids trying to help her. Two? Are they yours? Are they your kids? No, they're not my kids, but she's Okay, longer. so why are you paying her $1,600 rent? Because you know what we've been through. I mean, you know... Courtney. That ain't got nothing to do with me! Man, we've been through a lot, you know. I met, I met her before. That's a too. lot of money. So, I'm going to oh, Okay, so how about you get up out of my house and go get my $1,600? Because you don't even pay no bills here. You ain't got no business paying no other chick's bills. And you won't do nothing in here. Nothing. I can't even get you to take the trash out. She said she was you gonna a bum. She said she was gonna pay I don't care what she going to do. I'm talking about what you going to do. I'm going to pay it back. I mean, I'm gonna pay well, give me. me my money back now. Because it ain't yours. I can't get it now. I mean, I'm going to try to get it some I need right you to now. get it the same right way now. you... If you got to go sleep with Damn. somebody or something, because ain't no telling what you've been doing, I guess you out here giving away community, whatever. Go that. get my money. No go sense. get my money. I'm gonna get it. Go get but my the money. The yelling gonna have to chill out. For I don't have to do nothing. At sixteen hundred dollars. At the end of the day, you gonna get it. At the, the end of the day, by me, the rent gonna get paid by me. So Lies. Don't worry about that. Lies. I can pay her bills too. I mean, and I'm gonna help out of course, but she said she's gonna pay me back. So that's the only reason I loaned her the money. That's the only. You reason. stole my money. It's you didn't money. ask. You did not ask. You didn't consult with me about nothing. That is theft. You didn't even call me. I had to figure out because guess what? I was going to go get you a nice gift. Some of your favorite stuff. Some new kicks. A new fit. So you can look nice. And I couldn't even do that because you out here squandering my money. It's our money for one. We no, it's not. Money. When the last time have you worked? What you talking about? I worked. Shut up. Go? What you talking about? No, you don't. I got money to pay and she going to pay me back. So don't worry about it. That's you know what? Saying. Keep your lies because I've been having somebody following you around. And I know you've been messing with this shit a real long time. And I was waiting on the day to confront you. Listen, but you're going to get, you know what? Get out my face. I'm not messing with Get you. out of my so face because I'm about to do went, something right now. This went all the way left field. I mean, I'm not even messing with it you. It went left field when you was messing around with her behind my back. I'm and you better make sure I ain't got nothing. I'm, I'm not messing with her. And if I did, you would know. I, mean, I need I'm you to, I need you to prove to me that I'm not your kids. They're not my kids. We, I mean, we, we okay, but you together. said you've been knowing her me for a her, long time. Me and her grew up together. Y'all grew up together. We went through a lot together. Y'all grew up together, yes. yes. And mm -hmm. you know, she asked me for Who went through a lot of stuff together? Me and her. Oh, so why you not with her then? Because I'm with you. What you think? You are a thief. You took my money. You so sick. I didn't take your money. I took our money and helped my friend out that said it's going to pay me back. That's not your money, dude. Dude, it's our money. I'm going to pay it back. Okay. Then the child is back, y'all. And then it's like, I don't know, when I first saw that, I was triggered. I, I was heated. I was heated for her. Like, I wanted to call her up and be like, let's beat this man ass because why the fuck he do you like that? Like, why in the world would he do you like that? This one sitting right with me in my spirit to the point where I had, I had to go to these streets and it wasn't even happening to me. What is it? Yes, I only got on one eyelash. No, I don't care. Judge the man. That man was like, uh, you know her. You know her. You that's my home. That's my friend. We done been through a lot. If this is your friend, what the fuck y'all done been through? 
why you ain't with her? If y'all done been through so much and you just feel like you just need to be there for her, just so tough to the fact that you done stalled is that, I'm not even gonna say still, cause let's say they do have a shared account, cause that's what he was saying. And it's our account, our money. But she said that man ain't had no job. So how, but anyway, so it's like, you know, say, let's, let's play devil's advocate here, okay? Say that is y'all money. Say y'all had an agreement and now she just blowing up on you because she mad. Switch things up because she mad or whatever. You know, let, let, let's just say that. If this is y'all money, why was that not y'all decision to get that girl that money? That's not even y'all friend. That's just y'all friend that you done been through so much with. What the fuck you done been through with this girl? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. That's number one. That's number one. Y'all, and it is, it's crazy because I don't know if I would have been able to see a message about my nigga sending a girl that amount of money in my phone and grab said phone that I seen inside of and press record while I cuss his ass out. I don't know because I feel like, especially whatever he was saying and then it wouldn't have mattered it would have not mattered i would have just cut back and swung on his ass before i even know it and i'm not even a violent person i've never even went through no i have not been through any like domestic violence situations i have not been through any t really boyfriend girlfriend toxic relationship type of shit so i don't even understand why this shit triggered me so heavy like i felt that in my chest I felt that in my chest. And it's like, no. I would have fought that man. I would have fought that man. It wouldn't even make like, and then it's like, bruh, calm down. Because what if he fight bitches? So it's like, you see here trying to fight a nigga that hit on bitches that don't care. And he would have come back and swore your shit up. That man said, that man said, we done been through a lot. I was trying to be a friend for her and help her not get put out. You trying to help her not get put out? That was a lot of money just to be giving a motherfucker. That you ain't bump skins with. You just and then it's not even yo. I'm still on that part. Cause in my eyes, if you didn't contribute to the money, nigga, that's not your money. I don't care. I don't care. You shouldn't feel a tight matter. Of, and the, I don't know. Because if he wasn't contributing to the money, I'd be damned if he had access to the money. And then it's like, I don't even understand why I was feeling so triggered about it. Like, I, like I, when I saw it, I was like, bitch, he'll get hit. Because what? How he gonna see your money? Girl! And he better, and he better come back with it. I feel like it'll probably depend on the dynamic of their relationship, honestly. But if the roles were switched, shouldn't no bitch be sending no nigga no money. But if a bitch decided to use money out of a shared account that her and her dude got, then I guess that's okay. Then that would be okay. However, this situation, bro, you like you didn't even consult. That's a lot of money, sixteen hundred. You didn't even say nothing to the girl. Paul, oh, why did you feel okay with doing that? She said she was gonna pay me back. Who borrowed money and say they not gonna pay it back? Who borrowed money and say, look, bruh, I'm not gonna give it back to you. This is not gonna happen. So, yeah, nobody. And here's the weird part. She gonna talk about, I have been having somebody that follow you. I know you've been You done been having somebody follow this man. And then, see, that's, that's, that's the thing that I don't be getting with some females. Like, I need proof type of business. Like, you really don't. Honestly, God gave us intuition for a reason. If something is in your heart, you feeling in your bones that some shit is right, by George, some shit ain't motherfucking right. Like, you don't need to go all out and find no reason. And then, 
if a man cunning like, hey, why you want to leave me? Or why you want to be with me? Because I don't want to be with you no more. I feel like you lying. I feel this in my spirit. And it don't sit right with me. I don't want to be with you no more. Like, that man really gave uh, $1,600 to a whole nother household. She said she could barely get this man to take out the trash. Are you crazy? And what's sad is she probably still fucking with him. That's the saddest part. Like, you doing all this for what? You know, put this man business out here that made him like a ragged ass dog. So now, when somebody see you in the motherfucking streets with that nigga, knowing what the fuck he did to you, now they're gonna be looking at you like, mm. He a ragged ass nigga, yes. However, she got something wrong with her too. Cause how, why, who? Cause for what? That shit just don't sit me. Sixteen hundred dollars, and like he was, he was comfortable in his decision. He had no qualms. He had no qualms. No, no, no hesitation. Hey man, let me add my girl. None of it. In certain situations, you really got to sit back and be like, okay, they fucked up. They did fuck up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you not play a part in this? Or not a little bit? Because you sitting here mad about this man and sending girl $1,600 of money that ain't his. It ain't his. He claims it's ours, but you claim it's not y'all's. He ain't contributed to no money. Barely will take the trash out. And yet, and yet, he got access to the bank account. Shit, that's really it. He got access to the bank account. If a nigga got access to the bank account, bitch, that is y'all money. Because you can't control what he do. At the end of the day, even if that was your husband of 15 years, you cannot control nobody. You hoping he do right. But obviously he's not going to do right, as you can see, because he just sent a girl $1,600 so her and her two kids won't be homeless. That's weird. The whole situation in itself is weird. And then y'all females be putting these niggas on video, recording this man looking like a whole dud. And it's like, bitch, you a dud too, honestly. Because unless you kicked him out, or unless you did something to like get your money back like eventually. Matter of fact, and then it's like after he would have did that, it wouldn't have been no relationship. So the only result that I see is kicking that man to a curb. After you get shit, before you get your money. Cause you still need your money regardless. So it's like unless you kick that man to the curb, baby. Is it his fault? He was unfazed about trying her like this. And that's the part I don't like. He knew that he was going to be able to get up out of this. That don't make no sense. Like, huh? You did what? And then the girl patted, the corner girl patted as hell because if that was an agreement between you and him, why are you reaching out to this girl talking about some, some damn thing? And then it's like, was she saying thank you or was she intentionally trying to be paid? Like, yeah, bitch, I got your nigga to send me $1,600. Like, what, what, what was the deal? What was it? Because why she did it in the first place? Courtney around here starting trouble. Scrapper said, you don't want no problem, but Courtney said, I do. Yes, I do. To be blessed to have $1,600 sitting in your bank account ju just to send a motherfucker and the bank not shut all your cars down because they think some fraud shit going on. Like, she got enough money to hire somebody to follow this man. And it is like, if you did hire somebody to follow this man and they like, yeah, bitch, he fucking around. Why is you still with him? So why, if you still, like, if you going to stay anyway, if you're going to stay anyway, why did you go through the trouble of hiring somebody to follow this man? Like, what? 
don't know. That's how I feel about certain situations. Like, if you're going to take the nigga back, why you complaining? But yeah, y'all, that was the situation. Like, what would y'all have done? Would y'all have kicked that man out? Because... I'm so, and then it's funny because in the middle of the video, she, well, in a piece of the video, she was like, um, get out of my face while I do something. And it's like, girl, I would have been did something. I would have been did something. She didn't have to sit with it to be as calm as she was to get through that conversation. I feel, or I would have to sit with it to have been that calm to get through that, that conversation. But that's just part of it. What y'all would have done? Put it in the comment section. Like, what y'all feel like part two would have been? Do y'all feel like that man gave her, her money back? Do y'all feel like they said yo? Because I feel like they said yo. Why you putting that man out there in front of you like that just to take a video? Alright. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. And all y'all come on back. Alright then. All good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He the